It's five in the morning and we're in New York and we're about to get on our way to Washington DC. So this has just been a great way to bring like lots of women and some men together to get them up to Washington. We call it, we call it the bus that Trump's hates. <laughs> It's the first time ever, at least in my lifetime, that I've seen a real uprising in the youth from all different genders, genres, cultures, ethnics, from around the world that are all coming together and finally uniting for one cause, which is the cause of human rights. I wasn't going to be able to find a ride down to DC, so I was really stoked to be able to come and to march on Washington is like a historical, beautiful thing and I couldn't miss it. This one's from the Women's March in LA from last year. Uh, rompe las fronteras, it means uh, breaking the borders, breaking all the boundaries. I feel like no matter how like, you know, you know, horrifying it is, it's something very special about us unifying together, you know? And that's why, that's why I'm marching for my ancestors, for my sisters, and for my future, my kids' future. Just kind of having that countdown date of like, okay, we're, you know, we have this, this set date to, to show up and and try to make a difference. It's really important to do things for future generations. I want to have my own family one day, and I want to be able to show them either the footage from today um, and just tell them you know, what it was like and, and how to be a part of something bigger. It's the first time that I felt like I really wanted to be at the center of it all and feel unified with everybody. It just feels like everyone on earth is here from, from all different places and all different backgrounds. In moments of tragedy, people are so much more inclined to do random acts of kindness and just like people coming out of their houses from the streets in DC and just like giving people coffee, giving people water and offering up their houses to use their bathroom. And it's just like, it does feel really unifying in some way. But yeah, we're here to raise a vibration and informing people about why we need to pass the Equal Rights Amendment now. I'm a woman, poor woman I work with and I work for. They have to be included in life and they're not. They're just swept aside. All women are being swept aside, but especially the poor. And until we let people in to the whole economic workings of our country, uh, we're doing nothing. We can't exclude anyone. Empowerment is so important. I think that it should definitely be one of our country's priorities, um, especially for people our age, especially for girls our age, because I think that having us growing up in a supportive community is so important for our mental health and for our just society as a whole. I believe that standing in solidarity and coming together as a group of people is really powerful and something that's moving and utilizing, you know, our like our God-given right in order to like truly express ourselves. Uh, I'm here to stand in solidarity with and appreciate uh, the women here, uh, the women of color, the women of the LGBTQ community. I came out here to march today because it's an opportunity to show. Uh, support for my mother who is a brown woman, an immigrant woman who has to go through battles every single day, a woman who comes from a poor socioeconomic status. And for me, you know, this is an opportunity to show that I love her, that I love every single one of my black and brown brothers and sisters out here. And so it's an opportunity to find intersectionality and to support in the best way that I can. It was just such positive energy. It like gave you tingles. It was just amazing. Coming on the bus with all these girls and organizing this kind of group of odd bods 
was amazing. It just and I love that we all kind of stuck together. Some like drifted off, but we had like a really good gang. I don't know, everyone brought such positive energy today and I'm really grateful for that because it's exactly what we need at the moment.